Hold a moment, apprentice. Let me feel ahead. The floor is rotten here, and it's a long way down if you fall. The Mage's Tale. It's a first-person VR dungeon crawler RPG by In Exile Entertainment. Originally released for PC VR, and now it comes to PlayStation VR. But is this game magic, or will it leave you with a floppy wand? Let's find out. The Mage's Tale takes place in the world of The Bard's Tale and is set before the events of The Bard's Tale 4. Fans of the series will likely find many references and easter eggs here, but personally, as someone who never played a Bard's Tale game before, I didn't know what to expect. Luckily for me, the plot is pretty straightforward and easy to follow. You play the role of an apprentice mage. Your master is abducted at the start of the game and it's up to you and your blue sidekick, Crux, to mount a rescue mission against an evil wizard. Things aren't very straightforward, however, and you'll make many, many detours on your journey to save your master. The story isn't anything mind-blowing, but it does enough to set you on your journey to becoming a more powerful mage. That's pretty cool. The gameplay of the mage's tale is based around three pillars. Combat, exploration, and puzzle solving. Combat is exclusively range based. Using your two move controllers, and that's right, just move controllers only, you'll be whipping out a spell and physically flinging fireballs at your enemies or electrocuting them with a charged shot from your fingertips. The spells themselves are a highlight of the game as at any point in your journey you can return to your workshop and craft a spell. And as long as you have unlocked the spell and found certain hidden ingredients throughout the world, you'll be able to alter spells. Some examples include adding a homing function to your fireballs or increasing the duration of a freezing spell. There are some novel combinations here that are fun to discover and may encourage you to explore the world more so you can increase the combination of effects. It's a bit of a shame then that the actual combat encounters don't match the fun of the spellcrafting. The enemies in the game are quite dumb and can be pretty easily fooled and evaded. Some enemy types are more effective than others, like the flying goblin for example, or the shield wielders, who will get right up in your face if you give them a chance. But more often than not, combat encounters were an exercise in simply running around in circles and spamming the enemies with spells until they stopped respawning. Completing combat encounters will reward you with XP for leveling up, and when you reach a new level, you'll get to choose one of two upgrades, which felt a little anemic, especially when you consider the depth of upgrading in that other VR RPG, Skyrim. It's a good thing then that the puzzles in this game are where the game really shines. Throughout your journey to save your master, you'll need to overcome a wide variety of puzzles. Some of these puzzles are optional, and some you'll only encounter if you explore the linear dungeons well enough. The puzzles in this game felt really nicely designed, I never found myself too frustrated at the tougher ones, and when I solved them it gave me that feeling that I also found in Stasic and Red Mazer, a feeling of being intelligent. A very impressive trick. Most puzzles come with hints given to you via large stone mouths in the walls that speak to you in rhyming riddles and are occasionally funny. I'd encourage you all to at least try and seek out the optional puzzles as they are usually well thought out and rewarding. Ah, oh, sick. That was a good puzzle. The Mage's Tale isn't a stunning looking game graphically. Now I was playing on a PS4 Pro and it was a little bit blurry at times, though the devs have stated that they were working on a pro patch, but right now, just keep that in mind. The special effects that come with casting spells are also somewhat underwhelming. Fireballs don't exactly light the place up with sparks, and the electric spell looks like something you might find on PS2. But keeping in mind the limitations of VR, it's hard to blame this on the devs rather than the hardware. However, I will say that the Mage's Tale has a very nice art style. You'll stumble into beautiful large caverns, you'll come across large and impressively detailed statues, and you may even be disturbed by some of the laser levels, but in a good way. Your 
The audio in The Mage's Tale does a decent job. Some things can be irritating, such as enemy dialogue being repeated over and over in quick succession, or when your sidekick Crux says a line that seems to get cut off slightly sooner than it should, but other than little niggles like that, you should be satisfied. I also have to give special mention to the soundtrack that plays in the loading screens. Celtic themed songs are sung beautifully in Gaelic, though the serious, melancholy tone of the songs don't seem to quite fit the goofy and cartoonish tone of the game itself. You wouldn't last a second against a behemoth like that! The Mage's Tale is available now on the PS Store for around 30 euros slash dollars, and for that price I can easily recommend it to VR players who are looking for either a fantasy game or who love puzzle games like maybe Stasic or Red Matter. While the combat isn't quite as exciting as I would have hoped, there's still enough here in this game that works well enough to overlook it. 8 out of 10 Thanks for watching my review lads and ladies, and before I end the video, let me give special thanks to my Patreon supporters for their help. Their names are on screen right now. You lads and ladies really make doing this worthwhile, so thank you very much. If you want to add your name to the list, then check out the link in the description. But if you don't want to do that, then you can help me out the old fashioned way with likes and shares and subs and all that, and I'll appreciate it very much. Thank you again for watching, I'll see you in the next one, and bye for now.